A driver crashed his truck into a Granite City home. He survived, but the grandmother inside died. Five Under Side's Alex Fees is live at Joy Avenue in Rogers where this accident happened. Alex? And 73-year-old Virginia Orman was killed last night when a truck crashed into her living room and kitchen. The driver of that truck was taken into custody by police. Now, neighbor Belinda Morgan tells me this happened right at 1040. She knows that because she heard the crash and checked the clock as she was running outside to see if she could help. And so as I walked down, I was um, right about here, and I can see that the truck was inside her house. Wow. I mean, it was all the way in the, the living room and into the kitchen area. This is what Belinda Morgan found when she arrived two doors down at the house where Virginia Oren lived alone. The mother and grandmother was killed when a truck crashed into her house Monday night. This lady and her grandson were out and the people next door were out. And I hollered at him and told him, I said, I don't have my phone. I said, somebody call 911. I told him that a couple of times. Yeah. And then I started screaming for the lady that lived here, called it Virginia or Jenny, and uh, I didn't get any reply. And I saw that the gentleman that was in the truck, he was just kind of bouncing all over in the seat. So, how old was he? I would say mid 20s to possibly up to maybe a mid 30s. Morgan says the truck driver did not appear to have life threatening injuries. And next thing I know, you know, they had him in handcuffs and heading towards a car. The last thing she said to me, there you go. boy, um, I'll see you at Vacation Bible School, which started yesterday, and she was part of that. Among those who stopped by when they received the news Tuesday morning were members of the church Oren attended, Johnson Road Baptist Church. She did everything at that church. I mean, she was the one who was involved in anything that went on. She was right there, the first person to say, I'll do it. Granite City Police have not yet released the identity of the driver of that truck. No word yet from the Madison County State's Attorney's Office on whether that driver will face charges. Live tonight in Granite City, Alex Fees, 5 on your side.